Hello and welcome to the Anti-Racism Live Global Digital Experience. This experience is to mark the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, which is today. My name is Afwa Nkanta Asamoa. And I'm Laura Whitmore. And uh, this global digital experience is brought to you by Peace One Day. And uh, it's in association with the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. Now, along with our partners, the Pathfinders for Peaceful Just and Inclusive Societies, United Nations Global Compact, SDG Action Campaign and Peace Innovation Lab at Stanford. I also want to say a big thank you to Twitter, Alston and Bird, AWS, Green Lemon Company and AI Media. Uh, and most importantly, a big thank you to our main sponsors for making today possible at all. Uh, thank you to Avon and Lipton. And of course, thank you to everyone at home for joining us. Uh, what an event we have lined up for you today. Throughout this whole event, we're going to be bringing you very special performances by international artists. Words of peace by leading actors from stage and screen and interviews with key advocates. There's going to be panel discussions with thought leaders on anti-racism and extremely important live moments from around the world marking Anti-Racism Day today. Please share the Anti-Racism Live Global Digital Experience as widely as you can. Shout it from the rooftops. Uh, use the hashtags that will appear on the screen throughout the broadcast too. That's helpful. Now to find out a little more about Anti-Racism Day, let's watch a short film. The 21st of March is the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. And this year, Peace One Day, in association with the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner of Human Rights, is producing the Anti-Racism Live Global Digital Experience. The International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination was established in 1966 by the United Nations General Assembly. The day was created to honour those who lost their lives in the largest protests against apartheid in South Africa and in direct response to the terrible events at Sharpville, South Africa, six years earlier. On the 21st of March 1960, almost 7,000 people gathered outside a Sharpville police station to protest segregationist laws in South Africa. Nearly 300 police officers arrived to put an end to the peaceful protest. When the police opened fire, 69 people were killed and 180 were wounded, with most shot in the back. The Sharpville massacre galvanised the global community to fight against racial discrimination. After decades of struggle and activism, the apartheid system ended in 1994 with the election of Nelson Mandela as President of South Africa. The Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights is mandated by the UN General Assembly to promote and protect the enjoyment and full realisation by all people of all human rights. Rights enshrined in the Charter of the United Nations, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and other international human rights laws and treaties. In 1999, the non-profit Peace One Day established an annual day of global ceasefire and non-violence. Fixed as the 21st of September on the UN International Day of Peace, Peace Day. It is so decided. It is Peace One Day's experience in manifesting awareness and action on Peace Day over the last 21 years that has led to this important collaboration with the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. The anti-racism live global digital experience. Please share this event as widely as possible during the day. Please use hashtag fight racism and hashtag peace one day and the links shown at the end of this film. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy the event and that you find inspiration here to address racism wherever and whenever it appears.